Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to teach you how to make this awesome car rosary. Hopefully this helps you out if you want a little car rosary, but if you want a more extensive rosary tutorial, I'll have one linked down below. So the supplies you'll need are 11 beads. You will need 11 eye pins, though I'll show you how to use the wire that's left over when you cut off for one eye pin. You're gonna need four jump rings. Obviously this is more than four, but you're gonna need four. You're gonna need one rosary center. You're going to need a crucifix. You're going to need six half inch pieces of chain, wire cutters, flat nose pliers, and jewelry pliers. These are round nose pliers. And you're also going to need this clasp to close it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our beads and we're going to string them onto the wire. Right here I'm showing all three pliers, but really right now all you need is the wire cutters and the round nose pliers. Once you string the bead on, you're going to bend the wire at a 90 degree angle. You could do this with your nail or with the pliers. Then you are going to take your wire cutters and you're going to cut it to a fourth of an inch long from the bend. I like to save this extra wire so I could use it for other beads, which I'll show you how to do later. Then you're going to take your round nose pliers, put it on the tip of the end, and roll away from you to create a loop. In my previous rosary video, I linked a video on how to make a perfect eye pin, and I'll also have that video linked again down below because I don't think that I'm explaining it well enough. And then you're going to continue this with your 10 other beads. So total you should have 11 beads on wire with two loops on the ends. Now here's me showing how to use um, the extra wire. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make an eye pin by grabbing the ends of the wire, making a loop, and straightening out this loop. Once again, I'll have a video link down below. And so now we have an eye pin, so we're not wasting the extra wire. We're stringing the bead onto the wire like how we previously did with the other beads. And then we're going to bend it at a 90 degree angle, either with our nail or with um, pliers. Then we're gonna cut the wire to a fourth of an inch. We're still doing the same steps. And then we are going to create a loop on the end by grabbing the end of the wire with our round nose pliers, rolling it away from us, and then we're going to have a loop. And I'm gonna continue this with the rest of the wire and the rest of the beads. Now I will admit this portion of making a rosary is hard, it does take some practice, but once you make a few rosaries or you make a few card decade rosaries, you'll totally get used to it, it'll become second nature and easy for you. So now we have 11 beads on wire and we're gonna move on to our next step. So instead of connecting 10 beads together to make a decade, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make two five bead sections. We're gonna do this by opening up the loop on one bead and then stringing another loop from a different bead onto that bead and then closing that loop. And we're gonna repeat this until we have five beads, one section, and then five beads on another section, and then one bead that is loose. Mm -hmm. 
So here I'm just showing you guys in real time what it looks like to make this. So you see that even I have to adjust things sometimes. Sometimes I can't loop things on properly. Since we're working with such small things, sometimes it's a little hard. So don't be too hard on yourself if you're not being able to maneuver the tools correctly because literally I've been making rosaries for a few years now and I still mess up a lot. So keep that in mind when you're making a rosary. Don't be too hard on yourself. It takes practice, it takes time. And now once we're done, we have two five bead sections and one bead by itself. Now moving on to the chain, you're gonna need your wire cutters and you're gonna need chain. Now this takes some measuring. You're gonna wanna cut half an inch of chain. Now I've realized that it's seven chain lengths long, so I always cut it on the eighth piece of chain and you're gonna cut six of those. Also, please ignore how dry my hands are. It is winter time and I get very, very dry skin during the winter, so please ignore that. I tried my best to moisturize beforehand. I even painted my nails for this, but honestly, my skin was not cooperating in this video. But like I said, just cut out six chain pieces and we're going to attach that once we have these chain pieces cut. And my wire cutters were giving me a little bit of a hard time in this video. Um, you don't have to do jewelry wire cutters. You literally could get the wire cutters that you find at hardware stores to do this task. I'd suggest those because they're a lot sharper, but yes. Now we have our six pieces of chain and we're gonna move on to the next step, which is assembly. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of our five decades with our jewelry wires and we're going to put a piece of chain onto, not five decades, but the five bead section. And then we're gonna close up the chain and then we're gonna continue that or do the same thing on the other side. Then we're going to do the same thing to the other five bead section, open the loop, put a piece of chain on, close the loop, and then open the loop on the other side, put a piece of chain on, and then close the loop. The next thing we're gonna be working with is this single bead. We're gonna open the loop, put a piece of chain on, and then close the loop, and then do the other side, and then um, open the loop, put a piece of chain on, then close it, and then we'll be out of chain, and we'll finally be able to assemble the entire thing in moments. So we're gonna have a car rosary that is perfect for any gift or perfect for your car. And what I like about this project is it doesn't take that much supplies, so you could do this with leftover supplies. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attach it to the clasp. So I'm just attaching one chain of the five bead section onto one side of the clasp. And then we're gonna do it with the other five bead section on the other side of the clasp. Now you can use lobster clasps here. Sometimes your clasp may not be attached like how mine are, but basically what you're gonna do is one end of the clasp, you're gonna attach one five bead section and the other end of the clasp, you're gonna attach the other five bead section. Now we are going to connect our rosary sensor and what we're going to do is we're going to take a jump ring and we're going to open it up. I'll have a video linked down below to show you how to properly open a jump ring. Then we are going to string our chain onto the jump ring and string one part of the rosary sensor onto the jump ring. So I'm taking one of the top pieces of the rosary sensor, stringing it onto one of the chains of the five bead section, and then I'm going to repeat it on the other top piece of the rosary sensor. So once we're done, we're left with this little rosary. How cute is this? And now we're gonna attach the final section. We're gonna take a jump ring. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna loop it to the final loop of the rosary sensor. Put on one of the chains from the chain B chain section that we have. 
close up the jump ring. Once again, I'll have a video linked down below on how to properly do this since my video doesn't show it too well. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the final jump ring, we're gonna attach it to the final piece of chain, and we're gonna attach it to the crucifix. And once we close up that jump ring, we are going to have a car rosary. Like I said, this is a perfect last minute gift. You can make it from supplies you have at your house. It's the perfect thing to do with minimal beads and minimal supplies. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you happen to like this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more from my channel, please hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell notification because it really helps out. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.